Hello. Yeah. It's because um, it helps uh, people find and fix bugs, and I think it's really important. And uh, we found out that there were some people who used Git Bisect automatically using Git Bisect Run, and they got they got really great results. Hopefully, I will be able to show you a slide. Um, yeah. No, um, I don't know what, what uh, what's going on, but um, yeah, th there were some studies about cost of bugs, yeah, um, and um, and the as you know, um, bugs. Cost uh, a lot to the to the economy. Um, there was a study in 2002 that said they cost 60 billion dollars every year to the U.S. economy alone. And this year there was a study uh, by Cambridge saying they cost more than 300 billion to the world economy. And um, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Per perhaps I, I will. Uh, so, what? Well, I don't know if many of you have used Git bisect, but you, there is a command. Git bisect has many sub commands, and one of them is Git bisect run. And you can pass it a script so you can fully automate your bisection. And when you have a workflow that consists in first writing a script to, that shows a bug, if the bug is there or not, and then passing it to git bisect run, and then committing, then, then fixing the bug and then committing both the test script and the and the bug fix together. It's a sim very simple workflow, but some people who used this workflow got 40% who used Git, and, and this workflow got 40% less bugs over one year after using Git and Git Bisect. And also they got something like more than 80% uh, uh, reduction in time to fix a bug. So, yeah, I cannot show you some slides, but uh, anyway, thanks for listening. And if you want the slide, I will show them on my computers. <laughs>